Now, Billy Ray and Miley are in the movie. What's the perfect gift to get them? I, I just wonder who's easier to shop for? I don't really shop for them. Uh, you know, I just call them and say Merry Christmas. There's some people, you know, it, you, I wouldn't know what to buy them if I was going out, but I would, it, it would come to me, but we don't usually exchange gifts. You know, we, we just call each other and say, hey, Merry Christmas. And Molly would say, Merry Christmas, Aunt Dolly. <laughs> and I do the I same say, with her. How do y'all make it? How do y'all make that time special together? Do you also get together during the holiday season? No, we don't. I don't see Molly as much as people think, and I wish I could, but she's very busy. Billy Ray's very busy. But I just, you know, we see each other here and there now and then, especially when we're doing specials and things like that together. That's why I'm fa I'm her fairy godmother, because I can't really be there enough to really play the role of like a hands-on. So this is just something we know we're always there. And every now and then she'll call me about something. Just say, I was thinking of you. Same thing with me. I'll call her up and say, hey, I'm just working on this and that. And I just wanted your opinion on this or that. So that's kind of how our relationship is. Well, at one point in the movie, your character Dolly realizes that the real magic of Christmas lies in the hearts of the children that we all once were. What is your fondest memory of the holiday season as a child, Dolly? Well, I just remember being with all my brothers and sisters. And somebody said, uh, I said, well, we didn't have any money, you know, to buy gifts. They said, what'd you, pl what'd you play with? I said, we played with each other. We were always thinking up games and things to play, but we always had small gifts. Mama always made Christmas special and we always had a little something, but we didn't have all those, you know, things that kids have now. They get so many things, they don't even know which one, you know, they like or if they like any of them. But, I mean, I think that's wonderful to be able to be that prosperous, but some of my fondest memories are just being together as a family. Mama making this special with great foods, telling stories, making homemade toys, and just being together. So, and that's what I wanted to kind of create in the show, and that's kind of the premise of it, is trying to capture the magic that I used to have when I was a child growing up in the Smoky Mountains and looking for that magic. What is that one holiday tradition or traditions that Dolly Parton must partake, partake in during the holiday season? Well, my family, I, I always say it's the three Fs, fun, family, and food. You know, getting together with family and just having a great time, singing and just having fun with the little kids and reminiscing and just catching up on things with family. Mm. And before I let yeah. you go, I gotta do a quick Christmas roundup or a speed round. So here we go. Quick answers, Dolly. All right. Okay, in a Christmas fantasy land, Dolly, which two celebrities from the last or from the past would you want to have at your dinner table and why? Oh, I would love to have Elvis just because she's Elvis. And he was he loved Christmas as well. And who else would I like to have? Maybe Chuck Berry, because I loved his songs and sing a lot of them. Two great choices. It's going on, on my Christmas album. I did one with Jimmy Allen. Yeah, and then Chuck Berry wrote. Yeah, it's called Ru Run, Rudolph, Run. And name three words that best describe Christmas for you. Family, fun, and food. 